What's up everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And before we dive into this video, yesterday I made a video regarding the Volume 2 versus the Volume 3 stones using the Mad Tea Party sets and the Serena set in the Dungeon of Trials. However, something that I should have tested and I did get a comment in the video about this and I want to say thank you for that to Kang Fest is that I should be using this 3PG and the reason being is you do get this 10% critical rate when you use this 3PG. Uh, that means that Ignis would have had 30% critical rate instead of 21 to 25% critical rate, or actually more than 30% critical rate whenever we were doing the skill. So that would make a big difference, especially having that extra 25% critical damage. So I'm actually going to test this again, probably in guild rate. I don't want to make another video straight in a row about the same exact thing, but I'll either make another video about this or I'll just let you guys know the results. Uh, let me know which you would actually prefer. But today we're actually going to talk about a little something something in chapter of fight. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say that I don't advocate for anybody uh, cheating or really taking advantage of a bug. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Because right now in chapter of fight, there is a bug happening here. If you use a character with a dot and you don't take any damage at all in this thing, you can use whatever level character and still get the win. That's right. And it, you know, and you can see right now, and I've done this all the old fashioned way with my characters. I mean, my Rugal is sitting at, we are click on here. He's sitting at over 100,000 CP right now. So you see right now he's got 101,000 CP. So I was able to level up my characters enough to where they had enough CP to be able to do this. I got two uh, star and moonstones maxed out at level 10, right? So that made the big difference uh, for me. Plus I also have the Tekken set, which really like, if I put the Tekken set on Rugal, I'll have 116,000 CP and so on and so on. And I've done the same thing with Orochi, BS Orochi and BS Chrysalid. I have five max stones on all these characters. So I did this the old fashioned way as far as climbing up the ladder in the stage, you see I got the two imprint stones on him, right? And the same for BS Chrysalid. And I had to do a little finagling, you know, as far as like uh, using maybe the Kazumi option card, uh, using the Fei card, those add a lot of CP. You see I got the two stones on him. And then, you know, maybe I'd have the Fei card, the Kazumi card, maybe I'd throw the Tekken set because Tekken set makes a big difference. I know a lot of you don't have it, but that's how I was able to get is where I was. But it was discovered by some other YouTubers out there. The first YouTuber I saw that did it was uh, King Slayer. Shout out to you, buddy. And again, you know, you can take any character that has dot. Well, not any character, but certain characters, if you don't take any damage using them, you can actually get the win. So here in stage 51, I need, you know, you need a defensive fighter. You, you're going to decrease your attack by 45% if you don't use a character that is a defensive fighter, so wow. And then you need to include a fighter with 112,000 CP. And by the way, I believe when this is all the way up to 100, I believe it's 240,000 CP. And again, I'm pretty sure Netmarble didn't intend for this to be. I'm pretty sure it's just a bug. There's no way in hell that they're going to allow three-star characters to be able to do this. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So we switch out Rugal, and we put in... Let me see if I can find uh, Ignis here real quick. Because Ignis is a prime example of what I'm talking about. We'll just make sure there's a car set on this guy. These loading screens are always so long, man. It's like I'm trying to get through the video, but it's, we're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, I really wish Nat Marble would fix this kind of stuff. I mean, now I'm wondering, are we, are we froze? Uh, what's going on here? Now about time. Okay, so I just got a mad tea party set. Got a couple cooldown cards. We have 60,000 CP, right? Right, we just got one imprint stone on this guy. Now watch this. This is pretty nuts. Now Ignis does have dot, right? He does have shock and he does have darkness. And we're going to take on old girl. Let's see what happens here. Now, Ignis is pretty wild for this. Again, I don't advocate for, you know, trying to cheat or taking advantage of the system, but I mean, I'm not 100% sure if Netmarble wants this, but I just don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think they really would want uh, us to be able to do this.
And with Ignits, it's literally just sit there and you can just actually just spam your basics. Yeah. That's all it is. Now, I could be doing my 3PG. I could be doing my default. But with Ignis, you really don't need to because of the second cooldown from his core. <laughs> I mean, this is just stupid, right? This is so easy that it's not even funny. And this is why there's no way that Netmarble is going to let this stand. Because what would be the point of leveling up characters if all you have to do is bring in a character like this to do this kind of thing, right? I mean, I'm not going to lie, I like it, and I would actually kind of like it to stay, because needing 240,000 CP is absolutely ridiculous. And there we go. Zero damage, right? And we got the win. Now, I tested this with characters that don't have dot, and it doesn't work with them. It only works with characters that have dot and as you can see Agnes is absolutely insane for doing this i didn't even have to use a 3pg or default by the way zero is absolutely insane he's got the reset skills you can sit there and combo and combo and combo and combo and do very well matter of fact i tested quite a few characters last night uh to do this and Ignis and zero are insane uh Mizey's insane uh merlin athena can do it keo iori ss keo ss iori all of these characters can do this pretty damn well, right? And let me show you something really wild. Now, let me show you something like the opposite of Ignis. So, Ignis, we just used all of our active skills and we used our basics. Well, if we throw in a character like Delens, and Delens is just truly nuts for this kind of thing. Let's make sure he's got a car set on him. Yeah. Today, man, today. So we got three imprint stones. His CP is sitting at 60,000. And let's go ahead and slap a card set on, old boy. We'll just, it don't matter. We'll put this card here, set on him. And then let me show you something here. So I'll take these cards off. And I'll slap on these PG cards that were just on him. Right? Cards that we got past, from past class, like the Yentama and the Seven Nights collab. Okay, so these cards offer a lot of extra PG rate whenever we do our active skills. And Delon's actually can, and even though we got a Leah set, Delon can actually reset his first skill from doing his second skill. And right now we got 74,988 CP. By the way, you know, that's a pretty good amount of CP increase, but we just added a card set. Now check this out. This is pretty dumb. This is ridiculous. Watch this. This is going to be the complete opposite of Ignance. Round one. Ready, go. So we start with the first skill. Okay, now watch this. So we got long cooldowns because we're not using any cooldown cars, but Delon's PGs are so long. Right? That he just stalls the timer forever. His default and his 3 PG do this. Now, I am seeing like one damage. I am seeing like one damage, right? So sometimes when I've done this, I did see like because of the dot, there would be a slight amount of decrease in damage. There would be a slight decrease in damage. Like sometimes it'd be like 99.99%, right? And you'd get the win. Really, I only needed uh, one PG card. I don't think I even needed two, to be perfectly honest with you guys. But if we take any dot, if we take any dot damage at all, right, from Maxima here, we are screwed. And right now, I can just spam my skills. Well, 
We'll hit our 3PG. I mean, with Dellens, this is super easy. This is just... This is ridiculous. And watch this. We'll get the win. And you see Maximus at 100%, but we got the win. <laughs> like, uh... It's pretty, it's pretty wacky, guys. It's pretty wacky. Uh, it really shouldn't be that way. We, you know, we shouldn't be able to use no uh, characters with 60, 70,000 CP or even less uh, for, re for required CPs of over 100,000. Uh, this shouldn't be a thing that we should be able to do because if it is, then we can all cheat the system, right? And as much as I like this and as much fun as I think this is, taking a lower tier character and doing this, uh, it is something that I think should be addressed, uh, because I mean, I don't know guys, you know, if it isn't a bug, then okay, great, fine. Then that Marvel intended it and this is the way it should be. Right. But if this isn't a bug, then that Marvel really should fix. I mean, but if this is a bug, then that Marvel should absolutely fix this, right? We shouldn't be able to take these characters with a lower amount of CP by an astronomical amount, even characters that don't even have the right fighter, right? We're using an attack fighter here, Dellen, and we need a defensive fighter, right? We're getting a decreased attack about 45%. I mean, if you could cheat the system, uh, it's one of those things where it's pretty awesome, right, that we can do this, uh, but because it does help a hell of a lot of players. But at the same time, it isn't right. It doesn't give anybody any incentive to really want to level up their characters. Like, I put all them them gold hammers and all that work into Rugal, Chrysalid, and Orochi, right? I leveled up six extra stones. That's a lot, a lot of resources. And for what, right? If you can take characters that are only at uh, level 30 or less and be able to do this, then what's the point of leveling up characters? What's the point of getting those extra imprint stones except for the other game modes, right? That's the only reason you're going to want those other imprint stones for the other game modes. But if Netmarvel actually intended this to be so, if they intended for this to be the way it is, then okay, whatever. But they really need to let us know if it is the case. I mean, you do have to play very carefully with some characters. Like I said, you know, Keo, SS Keo, and SS Yori can do this. You have to play very carefully. And the other thing is, if they are, if you are using characters with certain dot effects like bleed, uh, poison, um, burn then characters like psyche and ash can actually counter them right or uh even uh mr karate would bleed because they're going to get native super armor and once they get super armor they can start attacking you so more than likely you're not going to get especially if they have dot damage like ash and psyche if they apply some dot to you and they take your life down a little bit then you're pretty much freaking screwed right you can't do anything with this kind of method it won't work except for maybe someone like Dellens who no character gets super armor from darkness and he can just do his 3pg over and over and over his 3pg in his default over and over and over so pretty wild uh that this is actually going on in the game let me know what you all think about it i mean do you think netmarble should fix this do you think netmarble should remove it or do you think that they should leave this in the game i mean if they intended it for it to be so then okay great great we'll do it to it but I'm pretty sure this is a bug and we shouldn't be able to do this. But let me know how you're all feeling about it. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.